Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to be diving into Ulta's least expensive makeup. I have a full base here, so I am excited to dive in and try it. I was definitely surprised when I went to go buy this yesterday. I was like, huh. I would have thought that there would be a lot of this one brand, but there's a lot of this other brand, all that good stuff. So uh, if you are interested in seeing that, definitely stick around. Uh, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and let's dive right into the bag. So I just brought you guys a little bit closer just so we can do the eyes first, but before I do the eyes, I just want to tell you the, how I figured out like the least expensive stuff. So basically, I opened up the Ulta website and searched a makeup material or item. Let's just say blush. So I ended up just putting in blush and then going through the filter and putting in least expensive or price low to high. And that is how I figured out the least expensive items at Ulta. I did that for like all of the items or all of the um, makeup products that I usually use like foundation, concealer, primer, stuff like that. For eyeshadow, I got the Catrice The Fresh Nude Collection. This is what it looks like. I kind of swatched these yesterday. They actually look pretty nice. They just like don't have a ton of mattes. It's pretty though. I mean, I think we're gonna have to do a pretty um, soft glam today. I think these have like an overspray on them, which makes them like shimmer on the top and like matte on the bottom. I don't know if you can kind of tell that in the pan. So to start up, I'm gonna use this peachy color right here. I'm not too sure if it's a shimmer or if it's not. I don't know. But it's definitely pigmented. Works really nicely. I actually think it's really pretty. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so that looks really pretty. I don't have like anywhere else to go now. I'm just gonna take a profusion brush, just like this rounded brush. It's probably like one of my favorite crease brushes. So I'm just gonna take this and kind of intensify the crease because there's literally like no where else for me to go. So I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and use a little bit of the bronzer that I have today. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer. This is what it looks like. It's a really big bronzer, super light. This is like my shade, but we're gonna make it work today. It's kind of like that. I am going for like a soft glam today, but like there's an overspray on all of these shades. So it's like the glitter or the shimmer isn't actually shimmer. It's just basically like a powder, like you can kind of tell. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the shimmer, shimmer in here, which is like this shade right here. And I'm gonna try and put that on my lid. All right, so that doesn't look the greatest. I'm like digging in this pan to get like some shimmer or something. I'm gonna have to use the highlighter because this is doing absolutely nothing. So the highlighter is from Catrice. This is the 3D Glow Highlighter. That's what it looks like on my hand. It's really pretty. It's almost like a pink um, kind of pearly color. So I'm gonna use this just to um, try and do something here. That looks a tiny bit better. I think I'm gonna have to wet it. I just want some sort of pop. Oh my God. There we go, that looks so much better. I'm gonna take the the shade in the palette that I was trying to use before and on a wet brush and try and build that up so that it... All right, that looks so much better. Um, I definitely should have wetted the brush before, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I think this actually looks pretty. It's very um, floral, springtime kind of a vibe. I'm gonna take a touch of this dark shade right here, like a touch, like the tiniest bit, just to kind of make the outer corner a little bit darker. I'm tapping my brush into here like that. Yeah, there we go, that's all I want. I just want like a little bit of darkness on the outer corner, otherwise I think my eye looks naked. It actually looks pretty, like it came out kind of pretty. Like it almost looks like a um, pink bridal look almost, very natural. Um, I definitely was having trouble with this palette. I probably will never use it again. But it worked. Um, they do have like a bunch of colors. They have like a berry one and I think like an all matte one that was like basically all cool tones. But this is kind of nice. Um, it's way too hard to get something out of it. I don't understand the oversprays in this thing either. Like they're legit oversprays, which is just like the weirdest thing. Pink 
um, shade in here, which is this one right here. Definitely had glitter in it at some point, and now it doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the eyes like this right now. I actually don't think I'm gonna do the liner. I might change my mind, but I think it looks really nice right now. Let's move on to the face. Let's talk about primers. I have the um, Catrice Insta To Go Blur Stick. Um, cute little nugget here. Just fell out in my hand, which is super great. I'm gonna put it back. So I feel like this is gonna be like straight dimethicone. This is what it looks like once you put it back. It's actually staying in right now. So I'm just gonna use this um, in areas where I wanna blur my pores. I'm just gonna kind of work that into my skin, pressing it into my pores. So that is actually pretty nice. It definitely is blurring my pores. Not great that it fell out, but it's kind of like cute for traveling. That would be really nice. And then I got the LA Girl Pro Prep HD Moisture Nourishing Face Primer. That's what it looks like. This one also comes in color correcting shades like peach, green, yellow. But I just got the moisturizing one on the back of my hand. That's what it looks like. Almost looks like a lotion. I think that the like hydrating primer and the blur primer like don't go well together because it kind of just like pilled off of my face which I don't love. Right, so now that I'm all primed the least expensive foundation was the e.l.f. flawless finish foundation. I know I used this in my last video but it is the most inexpensive um product at Ulta. I'm just gonna breeze right through this just because I did this last week in my last video. Okay, so I'm all blended out. The shade I have is Almond Concealer, which is the Essence Camouflage Concealer, but as you can see, that is way too dark. I also got the Catrice One Drop Coverage Weightless Concealer. So this is in the shade uh, Rosy Ash, so I'm gonna mix the two. Almost feels like foundation. So that actually worked. Um, I actually like this. This is weird. It's an interesting kind of formula. Like it's definitely a foundation more than a concealer. Like it feels like a foundation going on the skin. So it's almost like using a very full coverage foundation under your eyes, which is nice. It's very hydrating, which is very nice as well. Let's go into powder. I got the Catrice Nude Illusion Loose Powder in transparent. I also had like a banana, but it literally looked like a neon banana. This is what it looks like. It's just a white powder. So I had the loose powder and I also got this uh, like regular um, foundation powder, almost like a finishing powder. And this is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. So I'm just gonna uh, use a little bit of it for my under eyes. And then for the rest of the face, I'm gonna use the loose powder. I'm just gonna do a light layer. I actually like both of these powders. The Brighten Up one from Essence is really nice. And the Nude Illusion from Catrice is really nice. I'm actually very impressed. Next, let's go into the bronzer. This giant bronzer actually looks super nice. I just wish they had different shades. This is the only shade I saw at my Ulta. I actually like the pan size of this, but I just think it's not gonna have any color for me. Oh, it does. Oh, wow. I don't know how this worked. I think it's just because this foundation is very light on me, but this is really a nice bronzer. I like that. And I'm gonna take it and just do a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna take the loose powder and just cut out the um, bottom just to clean everything up. I want a little ham. I actually really like this. This is nice. I like the pan size. Um, I think that this is huge. It's like the size of my face. Um, definitely warmed me up. I was looking a little late, but this is really nice. For blush, I have the Essence Matte Touch Blush. Are you seeing the theme here? A lot of Essence, a lot of Catrice. Um, that was basically the majority of all of the product today. A little bit of LA Girl, and that's basically it. So, but this is actually really pretty. The shade of this is Peach Me Up. So I'm gonna use this. I like that a lot. That's a very pretty blush. I love like a peach blush. So let's go back into the highlighter. We're going for like a very pink look today. Can you tell? Like it's very pink. I'm gonna use this highlighter brush from Equate and I'm gonna tap into here. I don't have any highlighters like this, so this is like very pretty. 
I like this a lot. This is actually very pretty. They have a bunch of different shades. The reason I got the pink one is just because I don't have anything similar to this. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. This is the Essence You Better Work Gym Proof Fixing Spray Sweat Resistant Anti Shine. So I don't like the anti shine thing, but I do like the fact that it says water resistant. So let me do a little bit of. I actually like that. That's nice. I don't have a, like a sweat proof setting spray so that is nice and it's like very travel friendly hopping back into the fresh nude collection from catrice i'm going to take that same pink shade and put that on my lower lash line there we go that's really soft and then i'm going to use this shade in the palette to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone let's do some mascara i have the catrice lashes to kill ultra black volume mascara this is what it looks like the wand is a little clumpy as you can see i do not like super wet mascaras let's try this bad boy on i'm gonna go ahead and just scrape off all of the sides oh that's nice what that is a nice mascara can you see the difference i am like shocked hopefully it doesn't like get messy on the under eye. I don't even want to put lashes on. Oh my God. And I have like the worst lashes ever. Like they're very, very, they grow like this. I'm not going to put lashes on. I was going to use the e.l.f. Lux Lash Kit, the winged and bold one that I'm obsessed with. So let's go on to the lips. So the most inexpensive lip liner is from Essence. It's the Soft Contouring Lip Liner. I actually have this already and the shade I have is from is Big Proposal. And that is what it looks like right there. And I'm gonna outline my lips really quick. I actually like their lip liners. They're very similar to like MAC lip liners, but a little bit more creamier. For lipstick, I have the Essence Color Boost Mad About Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is what it looks like. I have the shade Casanova. The dope foot looks like this, kind of interesting. And what the shade looks like so not very similar to what's in the bottle but that's okay it looks like i'm from the 80s this is a terrible lip color oh no i don't like the texture of them they're very like loose so if you like rub your lips together they'll like kind of come apart i don't like the shade of that so i'm just gonna fill my my entire lips with the lip liner okay so i don't like this the shade of this looks like it would be pretty like it's almost like the sh shade of the um eyeshadow like a nude but no looking at my hand and looking at the bottle they're two different shades so i don't like that that's like such a not a nice shade on me especially and i'm just gonna pop a, um, a gloss on i'm just gonna use this elf lip lacquer just because the um, lip liner is not really comfortable on the lips. So I'm gonna spritz my face one more time. Just so you guys know, I did buy an eyeliner. I just decided not to use it. This is from Wet n Wild. This is the H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner. Okay, so this was a rough one. I think I disliked more stuff than I actually liked. So that is pretty rough. Let's go through it real quick and talk about all the stuff that I used today. The cheapest makeup from Ulta, which is terrifying. So let's start with the eyes. The palette. I gotta be honest with you, I did not like this palette. We got there, it looks cute. Um, not my best work, not my favorite look by far, but it's okay, like, just go ahead and buy a BH Cosmetics palette or a Morphe palette or um, Wet n Wilds, anything like that. I just don't think this is worth it. The primers. The blur stick at first kind of worked and it looks good under the makeup. I don't know why it was pilling. I think just using the uh, LA Girl Pro Prep Moisture Primer, kind of going back and like rubbing my face, like it kind of made the primer to like pill um but i actually like it it looks really nice on the skin i will definitely probably use this again i just won't use anything on top of it the la girl moisturizer primer didn't do anything really so i think this is kind of pointless the foundation i like it i don't think i'd ever like 
use it if it wasn't for like a video. It's not like the best. I think it looks pretty. It's a little too matte for me. I like a more dewier foundation, but it's nice and it works and it's pretty. So for six bucks, it's a good foundation. Very comparable to Photofocus. The concealers. They both really creased on me, and I kind of like the idea of this guy. It's almost like you could put this in your foundation if you want more coverage. I also liked it under my eyes. It was very hydrating. This one, it's way too dark for me. I might use it and keep it for like a different foundation. Like me, I have 10 different skin tones. Essence really needs to step up their game with the um, shade situation. They have terrible shades so this is like one of the darkest shades that they had i don't know i wouldn't recommend it for you um the same thing with the catrice one i like it if you're into stuff like this great but i wouldn't recommend it for you for the same reason the brighten up powder was nice i don't really like using powders like this but if i ever was going to it's a nice powder um it feels really good it's a nice shade of banana like it, it isn't like a true 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 banana powder but it has like a tint of yellow in it and it's very pigmented on my hand. So I like that. The Essence Nude Illusion. This is nice, it blurred my pores really nicely. It's a nice powder. I used a very thin layer and I was able to get um, my face set very easily. The Essence Bronzer, I really like this. I was shocked, I thought this was gonna be like so light, but it's the perfect shade for me and I really really like how big this pan size is um so I would definitely keep using this it's a new favorite I really like that the blush same thing very cute very you know it's blush you can't really mess it up I like that it's completely matte most bronzers and blush have some sort of glitter or shimmer in them so to have two very matte um blush and bronzers I like that I appreciate that from Essence the highlighter is gorgeous i really like this very different for me but it's super pretty like it's very very pretty um and it's they have different shades so you can get like a gold one but i think like a pink for like this kind of look is very very pretty it's like it's almost like a blush topper too which i like as well so this is a yes for me the lip pencil from essence i actually had this so i actually really like it i think it's nice um they don't have a great amount of shades it's very like berry-ish like they don't have like any really nice nudes but this is a pretty pink nude i'm obsessed with this elf um gloss it's the elf lip lacquer in honey rose so if you're wondering what's on my lips that's what it is the matte lipstick i wish the shade of this was like the packaging like this would look really pretty like a soft pink um uh, no it's and I don't like the formula it's like that almost like oily liquid lip I had to use a ton of different coats to get it to be opaque so no for me setting spray I don't really know I am not sweating right now I should probably go for a run and check it out but um I think it's nice that it's gym proof and it's sweat resistant I don't like that it's anti-shine because I do want some dewiness in my skin but I think it's nice good for the gym bag good for your purse kind of thing oh the mascara can I say more? I actually really like it. Obviously, it's kind of fading because, you know, like curl lashes, they fall. But I feel like this is great. It's so nice. Definitely has the tendency to clump up, but I think it's really, really nice. This is a gorgeous uh, mascara, and I can't believe how inexpensive it is. So this is a good find. I like this a lot. So I like, there's more good products than bad products. I kind of separated them on the table. In my head, it kind of sounded like I didn't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned um, some stuff today about inexpensive makeup. Essence and Catrice are your best friends. Catrice and Essence both have great stuff. I thought there was gonna be a ton more Wet n Wild, a ton more, but there isn't, which is really interesting. So let me know if you want to see any other videos like this, like doing the most expensive at Ulta, that'd be scary, or the least expensive products at Sephora, or CBS or stuff like that. So just let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys have a really good week and I will see you super soon in my next video. Bye guys.